Last episode's answer for noms was... Trick or treat! Day. Welcome back, guys. It's finally here, the best day of the year! Happy Halloween, everybody! Yay! For this episode of In Your Face Horror, we're going to be reviewing one of the most iconic Stephen King stories that has ever existed. Carrie. If you haven't seen this movie before, these are the characters. We have our new Carrie White, Chloe Grace Mortez. We've got Margaret White, her mom, played by Julianne Moore. Sue Snell, played by Gabriella Wide. Chris Harginson, played by Portia Doubleday. And last but not least, the gym teacher, Mr. Jardin, played by Judy Greer. So growing up, both of us had read the original Carrie by Stephen King, fell in love with it. It was one of our favorite Stephen King books we've ever read. We saw the original movie, and that was a phenomenal way of presenting Carrie and herself. And so we were naturally both really <laughs> excited to go see this new Carrie movie. Going into this, we were so excited for what they were gonna do new with this new take on an old classic. And it was great that they went and took Carrie and modernized the whole thing. I mean, they oh, had yeah, cell phones. For sure. It was it was wonderful. Oh yeah, it was nice to see, instead of trying to go back and do a movie in the 70s when it happened, it was good to see, well, if this happened in this day and age, what would happen? I mean, naturally, the, the tampon scene, it ended up on YouTube because that's what would have happened if this had happened in 2013. It was great. Carrie, after the prom incident, goes home, the confrontation with her mom happens, kills her mom, and the whole house collapses and she dies on the spot right there. Now in the book, she ended up confronting her mom and she went out to kill Chris and her boyfriend and then found Sue in the street and realized that Sue was not part of it and died of a heart attack. Now in the 1976 version of this movie, Carrie didn't have a lot of sympathy. You fought was we followed her through her story. It was kind of just this weird girl with these weird powers that no one understood, and no one except for maybe two people felt sorry for her. What I liked about in the new one was you felt a lot of sympathy for Carrie and what she was going through. I mean, you really felt that she could be that one kid they could be any kid in school that is being picked on or bullied, and it really showed the fragility of her, and I really enjoyed that. And that aspect in itself was more closely relatable to the book, and that I appreciated the movie for a whole hell of a lot more. Oh, yes, they did that way better in the new one. We, we applaud them for that, and it was fantastic. My favorite part of the movie was actually at the very end of the movie when Carrie was confronting her mom, and her mom was all getting all nuts because she's crazy Catholic all this. <laughs> And she said, that's enough, mom. And she raised some knives up from the background with her special powers and threw them at her mom. And her mom got pinned up against the thing like Jesus. And I thought that was pretty ironic. My favorite part, oh, so brutal. She leaves prom after the whole shbang happens. She goes off to kill Chris and her boyfriend, right? Chris sees her and she goes to ram her with the car because all they want to do is kill this girl, this crazy, stupid girl. Carrie stops the car with the powers and Chris just goes flying through the windshield. Her face gets stuck in the glass. Oh, it was so brutal. It was my yes. More power to you, Carrie. It was great. Awesome part. Given that I grew up with the book and the first movie, I'm going to have to go ahead and give this movie four eggs, mostly because it was a wonderful movie. The, I loved the fact that they modernized it, but at the same time, it kind of took away from the original storyline. So that's why it's only losing one egg. Otherwise, it was a fantastic movie, and these are my eggs. I'd have to agree with you as well, Alex. I love the story. I love the new take on it. I thought the actresses that they picked were absolutely wonderful. I, I absolutely enjoyed the movie. It was a little weird um, seeing it modernized, and it takes away from kind of the, the classic Carrie-esque of it. It was a fantastic movie. I'm also going to give it four eggs. Oh, and by the way, Julianne Moore. Perfect, right? I know. Over to now. Segment. On Mondays and Wednesdays, I work for the Traveler's Aid at the airport. Helping travelers? No. Misdirecting them. If you know what that movie was, leave a comment down below or, or send us a message in the inbox. Thank you for watching In Your Face Horror. Tube in in two weeks for something. Phenomenal! Episode 21 is over! Peace! <laughs>
press the button right on top. This is right. Hey girl, <laughs> I'm on my period. <laughs> <laughs>